How's it going, YouTube? We're not working on red today. Red needs an alternator. So I gotta take it, send it off, and have it rebuilt. Yep. So, working on Betty today. Now, last night, I was looking, and I couldn't find a good YouTube video on how to wire an external regulator for Chrysler. Um, I don't know, I watched a few videos and nobody really showed it, so I had to go look up prints and find how to wire it up. So today we're gonna do a very good comprehensive on how to wire these external relays. Now the motor in Betty White is out of a 2000 Dodge pickup. Now, on those 2000s, it had the voltage regulator in the computer. Well, that truck doesn't have a computer anymore. And the motor is not, you know, it's a newer motor than what should be in the truck. By about 10 years. But anyway, so you have to put a external voltage regulator on it. So, let's get into this and hopefully this will be a good video and good information because i couldn't find a good video on youtube last night and like i said I had to go look through some books and research and figure out how to how to get it wired because people are like oh well you just you just run a wire from here to here to here to here but they didn't show any where they were running wires and how it was connected so that's what i'm going to do today so i'll get the camera set up and I got the wires and plugs and everything out here and we'll get all this stuff so you know exactly how this stuff hooks up. Be right back. Alright, so we have the plug that comes off the alternator. It's got two white wires on it, which ain't nothing. And here's the important one. This is off the voltage regulator. It's only got two pins. I don't know why they always did it this way, but Crusher always uses this looks like it should be three pins but it's only two and you have a green and a blue now the blue wire is important the one that's in the top that's the one that you hook to power okay to key high so let's lay this stuff out i got some green wire here i got some blue wire so gotta clean this up a little bit i might need some more blue wire hold on that should be enough and it's not cut. There's a piece I used on something else. And it's cut way down there, so that's good. Okay. <coughs> I guess it really doesn't matter what gauge it is. Well, it does and it doesn't because you're carrying load, but not really that much. But let's get these stripped out. And this is uh, another old wire, so. But the trick of this is, I don't think I'm going to use that wire. And give me another wire, hold on. Okay, now then, what we got here is we got our wires laid out. This purple wire is going to go to the ground on the voltage regulator. which there's not really a ground on the voltage regulator, it's just the body, the body's grounded. But you gotta make sure it's got a good ground to the alternator. And that's what this purple wire is gonna be for. Okay. I'll probably have to figure out what size I need for that, okay. So, I'm gonna put this out of the way, okay. Now we have our regulator. It's got a blue and a green, so Strip that off, and we'll strip this one off. And you know, one of the guys that I watched, I don't like really talking bad about people, but he seemed like he was drunk when he was making his video. Tell you the truth. Seemed like he was drunk. Which I didn't think, well, that was very good for a YouTube channel. Trying to make a good YouTube channel. So...
anyway, but wasn't very good information. Okay, now then, I got the green hooked up. Now then, where it differs here on this side of it is on the blue wire. Blue wire has to be hooked up to this red wire here. Okay. Like so. Put these together. I think I can still get them in a blue, I'm not sure. Yeah, I can still get them in there. Turn it down to the height. Take the blue wire here, and it might not be blue on your situation, but this one's blue. But make sure you're using that top. Let's get this in frame. Using that top pin, that's the important part. Okay, and we're gonna crimp this together here. Alright, so now then what we have here so far is we have our blue and green set up. And on here we have our green, our blue, and our switched red. And I got way too much wire, I understand. I will fix that when I get in the truck. Now then these two wires here. Let me cut this off so it, they're even so it makes it nice and easy and it looks better. But these two don't matter. These are just the peel wires, they don't matter which ones they go to. So when I get out there to the truck and I can get the right length on this stuff, then I can get ready to do that. But what I'll do first is I strip these and I'm going to crimp these ends on it. And then I just have to cut those other ones to length. Sit closer to driving Betty. After this, it's it's the rear brake lights and the exhaust, and we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so now we're gonna go out here to the truck, and we'll get the rest of this done inside the truck. So okay, we're up here in the truck now, and I got the wires plugged in. Well, I laid over now. You are going to need an 8 millimeter wrench for that bolt right there on the alternator. You have to ground it from the uh, voltage regulator to the alternator. So, it's just a little 8 millimeter. Big thing. Make sure your ring terminals are big enough. If not, you need to crimp it on there. Well, what happens? You gotta cut it off and re it. Now your wire's too short. It's hot out here, I'm sweating.
where I'm putting this, this should not be hot anywhere. Right, because the alternator should only be hot on the one plug. Now then, seems that we got some more here. Let's see if we can flip this around a little bit. Now I can kind of see what I'm doing here. Yes, I'm going to sleep. Okay, so we got the purple wire going over here to this stud on the back of the alternator. Right there. Go in there, and I was gonna put it up here, but I couldn't get that any of those three nuts apart. Okay, so now we have this blue and green, and I will make this a little nicer when I'm done off camera. But anyway, so. Drop on my camera. Look at that. I'm paying the butt. Try and, try and work and hold the camera at the same time. And get the right angles. Be in the frame. All that good stuff. Oh, we're trying here. Okay, so. So essentially that green wire is a direct wire from the alternator to the voltage regulator. And that blue wire is the exciter wire. I'm not sure how the uh, voltage regulator works inside. But, uh, it's diodes and all that good stuff. All the electronic stuff that eh, boneheads like me don't really worry about too much. And now then. That's a lot better setup than what I had because the wires were all funky and nice. Or funky, just funky. Okay, so later on I will put some shielding over this or something so it's not just bare wires laying down there like that. Okay, now that red wire over into the mess. But that red wire goes to a switch hot. That's all it does. Just something off the something off of the uh key something that's a key hot use about anything um just have to hook it up key hot and whenever you start the vehicle it should start regulating power and i should be getting 13 plus out of the battery now because before uh well it wasn't wired very well and it wasn't wired right but I was getting like 12. I'm hoping this alternator ain't bad. I'm hoping it was just the messed up wiring. So anyway, but like I said, I wanted to I wanted to do this, and it's gonna kind of be a long video, but I wanted to do this to show you all exactly how to do it. People got people got videos out there that they're not showing anything. Oh, I just did this. And I do that too. Um, but something like this that you have to figure out and you have to know where the wires are going, you need a really comprehensive one. So anyway, y'all take it easy. I'm going to clean up and hook this wire up and try and see if I'm charging now. Hopefully I am. If not, i got to pull the alternator and uh, take it down here and get it tested. So... But I probably won't do that today because I got to work at 5 o'clock today. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Hopefully, Betty will be on the road soon. Later, guys.